Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the books that I plan on reading in April. I'm very excited to talk about the books that I plan on reading in April. I have a wide range of books. I have some buddy reads that I plan on reading um, and quite a few like alien monster romances because I'm definitely in that mood. And speaking of monster alien romances, I wanted to show off the sweatshirt that I'm wearing. This is the Monster Matchmaking Service crew neck sweatshirt from Faded Romance. I am a rep for them. My code and a link to their site is down below. It's Ava10. But look at how cute this is. I am obsessed with it. Are you joking? I This is my new like statement clothing item because... I'm obsessed with it. It literally says happy mate, happy eternity since 1666. Are you joking? So cute. I am obsessed. You can go check out Faded Romance and all of their merch and everything as well as their bookish boxes with the link down below in my description as well as the code ABA10. You can use that on a discount for anything on their site. We do have a lot of alien and monster romances to discuss in this video, but First, we're gonna go over a few contemporary ones that I'm interested in. I have two buddy reads that I plan on doing in April. First, I have Powerless by Elsie Silver. I'm going to be buddy reading this with Victoria over at Victoria's Romance Reads and Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings, two of my very closest friends. And we all realized we hadn't read Powerless yet and we're like, sold, we're gonna do it in April. We're all so excited. All I know about this one is that it is a friend's still over romance. I don't wanna know anything else. <laughs> I wanna go into this book completely blind. I read Heartless in March and was just obsessed with it. So I'm very much looking forward to Powerless and its Friends to Lovers. So I am so excited because Friends to Lovers is like my favorite trope. And I feel like Elsie Silver's books are a perfect buddy reading book because they're so good. So I'm just so thrilled to buddy read this book with my two besties. I also am going to buddy read another book with Rachel. We're going to buddy read Snow by Sophie Lark towards the beginning of the month. We were talking about Sophie Lark and Sophie Lark's books and we were like, wait a minute, are we at the same point in the Underworld series? Let's just buddy read the next one together. So we're going to be reading Snow by Sophie Lark. This is book number two in Sophie Lark's Underworld series. I have read Ivan. Ivan's the first book in the series. And I'm assuming Snow is our hero in here. I don't know. This is like Sophie Lark's first series. This was her first toe dip into romance, this Underworld series. So I'm excited to buddy read this with Rachel. She's read a few of the Kingmaker books and I haven't. And so she says she needs to read like Ivan and Snow before she gets to, I think, The Bully. And I haven't gotten to that point yet, maybe. Or is it The Spy? Anyway, I don't know. I haven't read any of the Kingmaker books because I wanted to read the Underworld series first. So... Snow, we're gonna buy to read that one as well. I have three new releases coming out in April that I'm ecstatic for. I am so excited to read all of these books. If Only You by Chloe Lee comes out on April 11th. And I am so excited. I like cannot contain my excitement. I am so ready. This is the romance between Ziggy and Sebastian. Ziggy is our Bergman sister in this book and I have been so excited to read her book. Ziggy at the beginning of book one I think was recently diagnosed with autism so she was dealing with that and then I believe our hero in here has celiac disease and I'm so thrilled and I know it's going to be amazing rep because Chloe like myself has celiac. We've talked about celiac before and I'm like the rep is going to be so good. I have yet to find a romance book that has like fantastic celiac rep so I'm going to trust Chloe because she's amazing. So the tagline for this one is that this is a brother's best friend fake friends with benefits to friends to lovers romance about a big hearted quietly fierce soccer star on the autism spectrum and a thoroughly unprincipled mo almost irredeemable hockey player who has celiac disease <laughs> so this has an absurd amount of mutual pining meddling family members and it is a spicy slow burn i am like counting down the days for this book a book that also comes out on april 11th is lassiter by jr ward another book I have been dying for. I have been thoroughly waiting, biding my time for Lassiter's book. This is book number 21, 21 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. And I do, I think, need to read maybe two more books before I am fully caught up with her whole Black Dagger universe because there are like, I think two spinoff series that you have to read also um, with Black Dagger. Lassiter is a character that is just everything to me in this series. He is the moment of hilarity in a serious moment in these books and I 
adore him. So I don't want to read a summary for this one because I don't want to spoil myself because I haven't read I think the last two books in the main series so I'm not going to read it but Lassiter is a character I'm dying to read his romance. I didn't even think we would ever get his romance so I was jumping up and down squealing when this book was released like the announcement of its release and I can't wait to see who's gonna be his love interest because they got a lot, a lot to deal with. <laughs> and then the last new release that I love to mention is The Coldest Winter by Brittany Cherry. This beautiful cover. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm just obsessed with Brittany Cherry in general. I just got accepted to be on her influencer team and I, so happy y'all i like almost started crying at work when i got the email because i love britney so much she is one of the sweetest souls ever that i've been able to talk to and i love hyping up her books because she totally deserves it she's a wonderful fantastic beautiful talented writer and i cannot stop cheerleading for her all i know about this one is that it is a forbidden romance that's all I want to know and this one comes out on April 13th um but I believe I'm going to be getting an arc of this one so I'll get it before its release but for other people out there it comes out on April 13th and I know this is just gonna be so beautiful Brittany is an amazing writer and I could not be more thrilled to read this book I have a few books where I want to continue on with series that's kind of like the mood that I'm in, I want to continue series that I've been loving. Um, so next is the third book in the League of Rogues series by Lauren Smith, um, which is Her Wicked Proposal. The main reason why I wanted to read this series is because I heard book three has disability rep. Our heroine here is blind from an accident that happened in book two. So this is his romance story. I think in this one, you get a heroine who's more of like the cold grumpy type. I think it's like a marriage of convenience with her and Cedric, who's a vibe count we met in book two he was in an accident last book and he's blind i enjoyed the first two books in the series but i really hope i like this one more than book one and book two because i think i gave those like 3.5 3.75 stars and so i'm really hoping i really love book three next is restless slumber by kj sutton this is the second book in the fortuna sworn series i read the first book fortuna sworn during my fantasy romance reading vlog in february was it that far away wow february okay um and i really enjoyed book one and I'm gonna continue on with the other books because my Libby has all of them on audio. And I'm actually going to be meeting KJ Sutton at Book Bonanza. And I didn't know, I think she was recently added on the author list. Um, and so I have already pre-ordered the last book in the series because it was, I think, cheaper to buy that one from her. So I just, I gotta read all of them before I meet her. I don't know what this one is about at all. Uh, book one, our heroine is trying to find her brother. Her brother went missing and this dark mysterious man comes to her and is like I'll help you find your brother if you marry me and takes her to like the fey realm where a bunch of stuff's happening so I only have one more book to read in the Between Dawn and Dusk series by Jamie Schlosser which is a fantasy romance series and I was like you know what we're gonna finally read book four <laughs> I will say I've been hesitant to read this one because it gives me a lot of Jacob and Renesme vibes <laughs> from Twilight. I believe the heroine in here is the daughter to uh, Quinn and Kyrian from book one. Anyway, so they have a baby and the heroine in here, when she's a baby, her dad, the Fey King's like right hand Fey warrior man, um, when he sees the baby for the first time, he realizes like the baby's his way to me. And he, I think, like runs away for many years and it's years later she's now all grown up they get together or something i don't know um but it's giving me a lot of jacob and renesme vibes so i've been like eh. <laughs> but you know what we're gonna read it we're gonna do it i do love jamie schlosser's writing and i've been really loving this series so i need to read the last one and then i also have the duke and i by stacy reed this is the second book in her forever yours series these are her historical romances that are on kindle unlimited i read book one these are her more shorter historicals by the way this one's like not even 200 pages i really liked book one in this series i read it so long ago the summary doesn't give me a lot for this one but it's about emmeline who's like a wallflower and i don't really know what happens to her but i really liked book one and hopefully like book two as well for a monster romance because i'm in my monster romance era okay we have little slice of hell by cleo evans i've heard eh, things about this one but i've heard good things about the other books in the series so i just gotta start somewhere you know this is part of the creature cafe series and i think this is about like a creature monster cafe and the barista there like loves to do matchmaking and so this is about one of like the first couples he matchmakes or something it's an mm romance uh faded mates i don't know if it's mm maybe it's 
a throuple situation? I have no clue. Um, but I've heard really good things about this monster romance series in general and Cleo Evans. I haven't read a Cleo Evans book yet. And this is under 100 pages. Like I'm gonna just fly through this. I really wanna read also Just Go With It by Madison Wright. I've heard really good things about this one when it comes to the chronic illness community. People really seem to like this one. I believe this has fibromyalgia rep. My only hesitancy not picking this one up is because people said it's closed door. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, like there's nothing wrong with it. I just need to get over my need to read spicy crap all the time. You know, like I love books. I love YA books. I love other books. I love romance books that are closed door also. Like I just need to get over that. Like, I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, and I know that this has good rep in it. I believe it's own voices. So I really want to read this. The cover just got changed. Um, I think both of them are really cute, but um, I'm really hoping that I can just love another book that has chronic illness wrap. Next for alien romance, I have Caveman Aliens Ransom by Callista Sky. This was on my alien romance TBR video I made in March. There's like 17 books in this series and each one of them are about caveman aliens and I'm in a caveman mood. I have been since I read Fall and honestly since I read Transcendence like two years ago I've been wanting more caveman romances so I'm really hoping this book delivers. This is your classic like woman gets taken from earth and gets put on an alien planet and then she meets the aliens on the planet and they're all like caveman-esque aliens. So next is The Good Side of Wrong by Jenica Snow. Jenica Snow is going to be at Book Bonanza I believe and I want to read more of her books. I think I've only read The Beast which is like a Beauty and the Beast monster romance one. This one is a Hades and Persephone retelling. I'm a sucker for those and the cover on this one just sucked me in also not gonna lie. All I know about this is that it is a Hades and Persephone retelling. The summary is very vague and I believe it's also like age gap and forbidden well obviously forbidden because it's hades and persephone and there was an age gap in the first tale anyway but uh, needless to say i am looking forward to this one and the last one on this list is sweet vengeance by viano onimo i really hope i'm not butchering that i apologize this one has been all over my instagram for monster romance books and i am dying to read this everyone loves this one it says joy needs a deal with a demon to bring an end to the man who ruined her life malachi needs a deal with a human so he can remain in the mortal realm far from these centuries looking to drag him back to his sect in hell it's a match seemingly made in heaven except malachi doesn't expect joy's thirst for vengeance to taste so sweet and joy doesn't expect a freaking demon to revive everything in her she thought long dead after the demon is struck and the contract has some to an end they both realize that one contract will not nearly be enough sounds so good i'm gonna be reading so many monster romances anyways there you have it those are the books that i plan on reading in april please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and any books you are excited to read in april or are there any april releases i should add to this list please let me know because sometimes i forget books if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me any monster related emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.